Grace and peace to those who do the will of our Father in Heaven. This may be my last video. I haven't been posting on this channel in a long time because I haven't felt the need to um, say anything. Although I do see a lot of things that I could talk about, I don't really have the unction, if that's the right word, to speak. And, and I don't like to really make content unless I feel led to do it. And with that said, <clears throat> this video wasn't really uh, necessary either because I kind of feel like all that can be said, it has been said already. And at this point, there's not much left to do or to say to the people of the West, the Europeans in particular, the European Americans, the Europeans in Europe, and all those who are in the colonies around the world who have been um, sent out basically to well, go forth and conquer, as the rider on the white horse of Revelation does. And so you have these people of the West who are occupying and colonizing these many lands around the world. And you see that right now, it appears that things are falling apart. And as, as usual, brown people are often scapegoated or made to look like savages. While the history of how these lands and territories became colonized are glossed over because people have the main character complex but they can't see themselves as anything but the main character and the main character must always be the good guy so any effort to call forth the or to bring to mind the sins that need to be repented for are demonized called woke or just outright uh, just rejected as some sort of negative or white guiltish sort of thing when Yah himself must deal with all of our actions like the Bible says Yah is not mocked whatsoever a man sows that, will, that shall he reap and so the time for the West to reap is coming. But the West likes to see themselves as the favored child of the Most High because they have colonized the actual faith. They've colonized the identity of the people. And I see them, even the Christians, falling into this delusion that God is on their side and God is um, basically going to save them. But as I have often pointed out on social media and in some videos, even on my other channels, Daniel chapter 11 identifies the West as the the uh, bloodline maybe not the bloodline that's not quite the right word or let me put it this way the king of the west is the antichrist so that's what we call the antichrist the so called antichrist Daniel chapter 11 starts at uh, Greece with Alexander the Great and goes down the line all the way to the British Empire which takes the land of Jerusalem into their possession. America came out of uh, Britain. These same people were the Greeks and the Romans. So the Roman Empire so-called is part of, or America is part of that Roman Empire. And 
as Daniel chapter 11 says in verse 45, he shall plant the tabernacles of his palace between the seas and the glorious holy mountain. That is Jerusalem. And then it goes on to say, but that he shall come to his end and none shall help him. That is speaking of the West. Because the West are the, are the ones who own and rule Jerusalem right now. As the Lord Jesus Christ said, Jerusalem will be trodden down of the Gentiles until the time of the Gentiles be fulfilled. The Gentiles, the West, owns Jerusalem. And those people who they have sent into the land and called it the return are Europeans as well. They are not the original people. And the West is so desperate to make Bible prophecy make sense. They're trying to make a lie make sense by coming up with silly, like extremely silly doctrines such as Satan's little season, claiming that we're in Satan's little season right now. That the thousand years of Satan's banishment into the bottomless pit has already happened. Which is insane. It's ridiculous. And I have already uh, uploaded videos, not even about Satan's little season, but just about Bible prophecy that leave no room for such a belief. It is completely, completely way out of pocket. <laughs> way out of pocket. And this is just, the, but this is what they have to make up. This is the kind of silliness they have to they have to convince themselves of because they know that those people who are in the land now do not fit bible prophecy at all they don't fit bible prophecy at all and the people who do are the ones who have been colonized who have been conquered who have been taken cap captive who are who were forcibly removed into the four corners of the world. Not all by the same people, but they were forcibly removed at one point or another into all the world. And those people who, are, who have been in America now for the past 400 years, being enslaved and afflicted and oppressed, are also the true people. But to, to admit that would be a fate worse than death. They will never even fathom it. And I'm talking about the Christian church as well. They, they can't see themselves as anything but the good guys. Even as the West falls and I see the lying prophets and the lying spirits, the lying leaders rising up to cement your doom. You're going to follow Trump and Elon Musk right into the pit. Because that's the position they have been set up for. To deceive you, to lead you, to be your hero, to lead you right into the flames. Because you, re you, you reject the truth. You refuse to see past your own exceptionalism, your own, um, your pride. You refuse, refuse to repent. You refuse to face your own sin. And this is the same problem that Israel had, the real Israel. Before they fell. And I'm looking at the West in America. About to fall as well. Yeah, you're being invaded. You're being invaded by people whose lands you have colonized. And people whose lands you have destroyed. And gotten rich off of their resources. You, you've ate good. You've enjoyed the fat of the land. Those chickens are coming home to roost. 
And you can't see the writing on the wall because you think God is on your side. Where will it end? Where will, what will the climax be? I wonder. What will be the point, the breaking point, where people finally snap out of that delusion and realize, oh no, we were the fools all alone. I don't know. But it's it's really um uh, I'm I feel helpless to watch because I have also tried to 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 make messages like this before and, and to speak out on social media and to and to warn people that know they are about to fall and that this is and, and I tell them why it's happening, what why these things are coming to pass. But they can't see past the lies that they believe about the people who are in the land now and about themselves. And it just so happens that they look alike. Because they are the same people. The Greeks and the Romans. Like in America, Greco Roman throughout. There's some Egyptian um, symbolism in here. But for the most part, it's Greco Roman because this is, we are currently living in the ten toes of iron and clay. The iron being. Rome and the clay being the Israelites mixed in among all these nations around the world. They shall mingle themselves with the seed of man, but they will not cleave one to another. It was always forbidden for the Israelites to mingle and to mix with the nations of the world. But in these ten toes, the Israelites are spread out because they have forgotten who they are. And they are mingling because they don't know who they are. But they never became one people. They're still segregated for the most part. Yes, there are some interracial families. But for the most part, they have not become one people. They are still distinct groups of people. So they have mingled themselves with the seed of man, but they did not cleave. Even as iron is not mixed with clay. We are in the Iron Kingdom, the clay among the Iron Kingdom right now. In those ten toes, we are at the very end. And things are falling apart. So with that, I'm going to bring this video to a close. I'm going to get to work. Um, I don't know if I'm ever going to make a video again or not. Who knows? We'll see. So, But uh, to those who do the will of our Father in Heaven... May our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Yahweh Shai, bless you.